Hey, so I know it's been a while since I've actually done a YouTube video. I figured I'd get on here and do one. So, uh, I guess I could get a little bit of light in my face here. So, got a new toy in the garage. I'm standing here by the garage. You might have seen a little bit of it a minute ago, but, uh, I figured I'd uh, let you guys see what I'm working with here uh, as far as my new toy. I've already done some work to it, so um, let me show you. So this is my right hand drive Mini Cooper. Or it went, not, well, it's an Austin Mini. Um, I still have to mess with the timing a bit and uh, a few other things, but uh, I got this in. Let me open the door for you here so I can kind of show you. Um, right hand drive. Down here, I did put a CAD shifter in here. It's a short shifter. I've got some wiring to work on. Um, I need to yank out the old stereo out of here. Um, I've worked on the motor a little bit. Interior seems to be pretty decent all the way around. Um, you should be expecting a lot of videos, especially since it's warming up. I'll be driving this around um, and making some content for you guys. Um, it does have a 998 in it. Um, it is the original motor. Uh, on top of that, I have a over here I have another motor for it and I think with this motor I'm actually going to be uh, building this one and having fun with it I don't know any of the details on it or anything like that it's just it was literally um, part of the deal on getting everything um, headlights have been upgraded on this I don't think the tail lights or anything like that have um, as far as the motor like I said I replaced the one second here I replaced a few of the pieces on here um, I just got a, a valve cover gasket in it looks like it's leaking a little bit as far as the valve cover gasket um, I want to get all that cleaned up uh, I did put a new belt on here um, which kind of looks like it's I'll have to check the pulleys and stuff like that um, I literally just put a belt on there um, I did put a new I can see it back there uh, a new slave cylinder on there for the clutch um, I do have some new lines uh, from Stevenson Motor Company. Um, also, I'm waiting on a steering wheel to show up because uh, the one on here, it's okay. But uh, I got a wood grain one that I'm going to be putting in here. I like the look of the wood grain one, so um, I wanted to go with that. Um, some of the other stuff, this for the heater control. It was actually stuck really bad. Um, and so I got that loosened up. I ordered a new one, but it uh, seems like when I ordered some of the parts, they didn't tell me till after I had ordered it that some of the parts were on hold. Um, I, there's a few upgrades I'm gonna be doing to it to get things running a little bit better. Uh, I need to get a timing gun. I don't know what happened to mine. Uh, check the timing on it because I think the timing's a little off on it. Uh, like I said earlier. Uh, I did take it to a small little car meetup. Uh, not too, like last week, last Saturday. Um, it has two little Sony speakers back here. Um, roof rack on top. Uh, roof rack. It came like that and I figured you know for now I'm just gonna leave it um, 
And then as far as the trunk space, the boot, um, I got a lot of my camping supplies and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to be working, fixing that up a little bit. I want to redo some of the speakers in here. It sounds good for a little car. Um, it's got some Sony, looks like some older Sony's in here. I think that's what they are. So I'm going to be playing around with that a little bit. I think I might forego the, the actual radio itself and just go with a Bluetooth amp. Um, seats are in pretty good condition. There's like one hole in the driver's seat right on the, the base there. Um, other than that, um, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, I do want to order, so it's got 13 inch rims on it right now, uh, which are these. And so I want to get rid of these and actually go down to a 10 inch. Um, so I want to swap those out. But yeah, I'm looking forward to playing around with this and having a little bit of fun and things like that. I, I took it to work one night and um, ran really good going to work. And then I guess while it was in, in the parking lot while I was at work, uh, the clutch fluid or the uh the fluid for the clutch ended up leaking out or got an air bubble in it so it was a little rough getting home um so i'm going to be changing out the lines for that i did get some seat brackets uh also from stevenson motor uh i got i see their seat brackets i also got um uh, their new replacement line so instead of going from the rubber line from the metal line to the rubber line, I will be going from a, a, a braided steel line. Um, so we'll be swapping that out. Um, a few other things. I've got a new needle for the carb. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll be going through the process of getting all that figured out. Uh, the other day I actually worked on cleaning up my garage here a little bit. Uh, I've got quite a bit of stuff in here right now and I'm trying to get the rest of it out of here. Uh, so I spent spent the day trying to get a lot of that kind of stuff out of here and cleaned up. Um, we're doing a lot of work inside the house, but um, yeah, I think, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something that uh, I, I, I've got a couple GoPros now, so I'll probably put one in the back here so that you guys can see, you know, driving view, and then I'll probably put one up front so when I'm talking to you and whatnot. And then um, I have one of the 360 GoPros. Uh, I haven't really played around with it much yet, um, so I might figure out a good place to mount that so that um, maybe you guys can get a full... 360 view as we're driving around. I get a lot of smiles with this thing. Um, there's not a lot of people. I, I haven't seen another one around here personally. Uh, so it, it it's interesting to catch people off guard when you're driving down the road in a right-hand drive car. Uh, it's even even cooler when you have a car that. I mean, if you literally, if you look at. I mean, I'm. I'm six foot one and it goes, you know, top of the roofs right here. So for me to be inside this and, and, and sit in here, it's quite hilarious. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I'm excited to see, you know, have some fun with it. Um, I'm definitely going to be working on doing a few upgrades here and there. Um, uh, I'm still trying to figure out little bits and pieces on this. I've never worked on one of these, so I'm, I'm doing a lot of research. Uh, luckily, there are a few people on YouTube that specialize in pretty much um, minis, the older classic minis. So they give really good tips and stuff like that, like the, the roll bars. Um, I've seen that's a good tip to actually get the 
uh, especially the rear roll bar keeps it on the ground a little bit better for curve and stuff like that um, adjusting the carb there's plenty of good people on there that that go into detail about the carbs um, since it's a different kind of car for me to play around with um, I will be also making a couple videos on the 67 Buick that I have uh, I did post a couple pictures and I think I did a small video of the 67 Buick um, I haven't done a whole lot lately uh, with my work for the last month I've been uh, training and uh, I got a promotion and all that kind of stuff so I've been working with that a, a lot and haven't really had a lot of time to do a lot of the things that I've been wanting to do um, like make YouTube videos so I will be working on that um, also I'm going to be clearing a lot of stuff out of the house I've got um, some old Volkswagen parts because um, I've built a lot of Volkswagens and stuff like that. So I want to get rid of a lot of the Volkswagen stuff, a lot of the car parts that I'm not using anymore or anything like that. Um, I, either I'm going to toss them or post them up on Facebook or something like that just to get rid of these. Um, and I mean, some of it I'll probably just give it away. Like, I mean, I don't have no use for it in... Right now it's just kind of collecting dust. Uh, I will be going through, I've got some other things that I'm gonna be working on. Uh, I have a zero turn that I had some work done to it and the main belt slid off of that. So I might make a, a small video on how to kind of work on putting, putting that stuff back together. Uh, so mine is a uh, um, Cub Cadet, an older Cub Cadet. That's pretty standard. Uh, it runs really good. It's just the main belt for the blades had it um, come off. Um, what else? I'll probably do a tour of the house here soon. We've been working on that a lot. So um, we've been painting, doing flooring, different things like that. Um, we're also working on our other house, um, doing some work over there. So I might update you guys on that as well, uh, just to kind of give you an insight of what's going on. Other than that, uh, I will try to update you as things progress, uh, and then we'll, we'll, if you guys have any ideas or if you guys have any suggestions on maybe what I should do with this mini, uh, I plan on you know doing photo shoots with it as you know i'm a photographer so uh or at least some of you know uh, i am a photographer so i i plan on using it for photo shoots as well as the buick uh, i'm looking forward to doing that most of my photo shoots are uh, probably either gonna have to be during the day like this it is now because i work nights so um most of the photo shoots, either it's going to be during the day or uh, on the weekend. I'm off on weekend, so uh, we can play around with that, try to figure figure all that out. Uh, looks like, I guess, a little bit of fluid underneath there. It might be, it might be that same uh, clutch cylinder leaking. I have a new uh, clutch master cylinder. Uh, I replaced the slave, but the master cylinder on it, uh, I don't know if it's leaking or what, but I'm losing pressure sometimes on it. So I figure, you know what, let's go ahead and replace all that so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, I do have a couple boxes of parts that came along with the car as well. The, the, the headlight mesh screen thing, I got some of those. Um... A few other things so i'm gonna have to go through those parts and see exactly what i've got uh, as far as the motor uh, right now the 9898 in it is perfectly fine for me but i would like to do maybe one of the head swaps uh, like a dual overhead cam um, it, that tends to get into the money and machining and all that kind of stuff and frankly around this area i'm in indiana I don't know a whole lot of people that actually work on minis here. I think there is a shop in Ohio or something like that that, that works on uh, imports, older imports. Um, but 
I don't know a whole lot of uh, places around here. So I'm just pretty much trying to figure it out on my own. Um, you know, trial and error. If something breaks, then I guess I'll have to replace it. And, uh, so, uh, like I said, I've got the extra motor over here. I'm going to play around with that, try to, try to see what I can do with that maybe do a real nice build on it i know there's a couple companies out there like jet motors that's uh working on doing a turbo kit for like the 998 i believe um that might be an interesting option um it looks like what they're doing is it it, it, it looks like it's pretty nice there's a uh a mini do-it-yourself channel that he did a turbo kit on his and he also has a couple fuel injection uh setups on his that might be another option uh, i know a lot of people are doing honda civic swaps on them uh, like the b series or d series i don't know if i want to go that far uh with doing the swaps and all that kind of stuff that might be something later on down the road um I, right now i just want to run it drive it and you know do a few things here and there along the way the 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 cad shifter after you know uh, watching uh, quite a few videos you, they've made a perfect example of why it's so good and f from swapping it from what it had in it to the cad shifter i could say that it it it's a lot nicer it shifts a lot smoother uh when i did install it the 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 plate um that that you mount over it so it goes from a couple pins that's on the inside that you actually have to pop those pins out and then it's got some set screws that you put in there um, to hold the the base of it in um, I barely twisted on the one screw on the driver's side and it snapped in half so it took me a little bit to uh, drill that out because it was stuck in there and so I got that drilled out didn't mess up the threads or anything like that went and got um some grade 10 um from i think advanced auto parts they had you know a box of four or something like that i got those put those in there and, and it's it's holding up just great uh, other than that um uh, uh the uh 67 buick it, it was running really good i went over there to actually uh pick it up from my other house and bring it over here and I had just filled up the tank on it and noticed that when I got over to the house I was like you know I'm gonna bring it over here uh, when I did I couldn't get it started and I was like wait a minute what is going on here why is why is this the car I mean because you know every other time as soon as I put the key in and turn it it fires right up for some odd reason it wasn't firing up and i was like wait a minute it sounds like i'm not getting fuel or it's out of gas and i'm like can't be because i just put you know almost 20 gallons worth of gas in there i uh, got underneath the car and looked and the fuel line that runs to the gas tank right in the back there it was leaking um and a, a pretty decent little drip um so i'm pretty sure i leaked out all the gas uh which sucks um so i bought some patch line and stuff like that i was going to replace the line from front to back but uh, it's not it's not a high pressure uh, fuel line so i figure i'm just going to patch it for now um uh, i've got to mess with the fuel gauge in it because the fuel gauge uh, goes completely to full so i'm going to check that out probably what i'll end up doing is is jacking up the car uh dropping the gas tank checking the the uh fuel gauge and all that not fuel gauge but the sending unit and all that kind of stuff make sure that all works correctly uh it also has uh heating and air that doesn't really work so i'm thinking that maybe the heater core or something like that so I'm going to play around with that as well, see about um, getting all that sorted out and fixed. Uh, so I will probably make some videos as I'm doing that, especially as the weather is getting nicer. Uh, other than that, uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. <clears throat> like I said, I will try to make some more videos. I'm currently working on my studio downstairs. 
uh, I'm rearranged my desk area. Uh, I'm talking with a few people right now about maybe doing some drone footage. Um, also, I've got another guy that I'm talking to right now about possibly uh, bringing him on to do a lot of the prints and whatnot. Uh, I picked up a new camera this winter, smaller camera just to play around with, all that kind of stuff. Um, this GoPro that I'm actually recording on right now, I just got that uh, not too long ago. So I think I'm using the GoPro 9 and the GoPro 10. I have a GoPro Max 360 or something. So we're hopefully now, especially now that it's getting warm, uh, we'll have a lot more content and uh, be able to show you guys a lot more of what we do and, and things and a lot of fun and, you know, just try to get out there and, and uh, hopefully, you know, if, if anything, make it amusing for you guys, have some fun. I, we plan on doing quite a few car shows so if you like the car show content um i plan on doing some photo shoots downtown and uh, some other areas so we'll be getting out doing those and i'll be recording or going live during those events so that you guys can kind of see you know, a lot of what i do uh, other than that um, have a good one all right bye